Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe and share. Oh, hello again. Welcome back. A walk is critical for stir frying and it is important that you select the right walk. Uh, the most important criteria in selecting a walk is to choose a walk without non-stick coating. And there are four different types of walks that you can choose without non-stick coatings. They are carbon steel, light cast iron, cast iron, and stainless steel. And you can create a non-stick surface on these types of walks by using my spot seasoning method. Uh, however, seasoning a wok is definitely not foolproof and sometimes things can badly burn to the wok as shown here. It could be very demoralizing when things happen like this. It could take a lot of scrubbing to clean up such a mess. But don't worry, in this video, I'm going to show you a method that you can clean up a wok like this in less than 10 minutes. Now, everything starts out very nicely. I season the wok and I fry some eggs in it. And my spot seasoning method uh, did a really good job to create a non-stick surface. Uh, the eggs do not stick to the wok at all. Uh, I next used the wok to fry some ground turkey. I did not season the wok again. In fact, frying the egg actually will add seasoning uh, to the wok. As you can see here, uh, the turkey did not stick to the surface of the wok at all. I seasoned the turkey with some light followed by some dark soy sauce. I'm going to concentrate the flavor of the ground turkey by cooking down the sauce. At this point, you notice that uh, things start to stick to the bottom of the wok. And this is due to caramelization of the sugar in the dark soy sauce. I then decided to cook some fried rice without washing the wok, and it just turned out to be a mistake. And these are cooked rice that has been stored in the refrigerator for at least overnight. And normally, this kind of rice should not just stick and burn to the surface of a well-seasoned wok. And the rice starts to stick almost immediately due to the caramelized sugar. Well, I try to use my spot cleaning method to see whether I can detach them as much as I could. Uh, unfortunately, it did not work out very well, but I was able to finish cooking the fried rice. Uh, as you can see here, a lot of rice got uh, stuck and burned to the bottom of the wok, but the fried rice turned out okay. However, I end up with a badly burned wok. I used to scrub this wok in the, in the sink and it could take hours. So what I do now, I put the wok back on the stove and I turn the stove to high to heat up the wok. I then add a small amount of water from a squeeze bottle and when the water hit the wok, it immediately turned into steam. Uh, this helped to actually dislodge the burnt material almost magically. Uh, you could easily scrape them off with your wok spatula. Uh, in order for the water to heat up and turn into steam, uh, you should add only a small amount of water at a time. Uh, when I first tried this method, I really could not believe how effective it is. After I dump the detached material, uh, I bring it back to the stove and try this again. I repeat this process uh, two or three times. In several minutes, I was able to almost completely clean off everything that has stuck and burned to the bottom of the wok. And with this kind of cleaning, the stainless steel wok spatula is excellent uh, for it to use as a scraper. Uh, by this point, almost most of the burnt material has been completely removed. Uh, the wok brush is excellent to finish up the cleaning uh, under running water. I have tried many different kinds of wok brush in the past, but the one that I like best is uh, this kind of a brush, which is known as Parmara brush. Uh, first of all, I like its size. Uh, secondly, the bristle of this brush are made out of natural palm materials. Uh, to clean the brush, I bang it against the bottom of the sink to carry off any excess fluid, and then I hang it up to dry. Uh, this method is extremely effective. As you can see from here, uh, start to finish, I was able to clean this wok with all this burnt stuff on it in about 10 minutes. Uh, finally, I remove any remaining stain on the surface of the wok, uh, use a scrub sponge. 
And here I demonstrate with a stainless steel wall, but you can use the same method for cleaning carbon steel like cast iron and cast iron walks. And for the stainless steel wall, I just wipe it dry and hang it up. But for the other three types of wall, uh, you should apply a light coating of cooking oil. Uh, this will prevent them from rusting. And next time when I use the wok, I will first spot season the wok. And this will create a non-stick surface. As you can see here, uh, cooking in a wok with natural surface is a dynamic process. It doesn't matter how well you season the wok, occasionally things will burn to the bottom of the wok. And when it happens, you know what to do by using this cleaning method. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.